Products.com has just released its Executive 2 Continuous Ink System for Epson Artisan 1430. Now you're going to be removing the cartridge lid. You cannot leave the cartridge lid on because Epson has added some more plastic pieces to damage the uh, switch. So what you want to do, after it's unplugged, take out all the cartridges. Okay, now you're going to take a flat blade screwdriver and on the right hand side you're going to move out the hinge. You're going to bend out that hinge, get it off there so you can take the cover off. Now you've got a 50-50 chance. Sometimes they break the hinge, sometimes they don't. But there's no other way. You have to take that off whether you're going to use a continuous ink system or our refillable cartridge station. You're going to go right on the side and you're going to slowly, we we'll show you in the instructions, how to pry that hinge off. Don't try to take it off on the left side, only on the right side. Okay, now you can see I've got it wedged in there, taking it off. Take your time, it takes a little time to do this. There you go. Okay, now we want to pick it out of there, don't want to leave it there. Okay, I'll bring this back, going to latch it, take it off, and work it out the other end over here. There you go. Now we got it out. Now, that's what you took off. What usually breaks is this little, there's a little, there it is, that little piece right there breaks off because they lock it in. So if you have to put it back on, just use a little instant glue on this top piece here and just slide it back on should you ever have to put it back on. Now, with the printer unplugged, you'll be able to move this back and forth. So right now I'm going to move it down here because i got to slide the cartridges under here. Take the cartridges. You're going to slide them right under, under. Bring them out. Then you can slide cartridge assemble assembly all the way over. And once the assembly is all the way over, then you can put the cartridge, CIS cartridges in. Now this is important. You want to push, you know, because it's new, so you want to push. So you hear the clicks. you got to hear it click in. Once you know you hear it clicking in, then you know you won't get an error code. So sometimes I push right up there to the top. I'm going to push it a couple times. There, there's the other one. Clicked in. Now it's all clicked in. You can push it all the way over to the right. Now we'll put the hose bracket on here. There again, you're going to get color photo instructions. Hose bracket, you're going to peel and stick it right there. So I get the hose up out of the way. And like I said, you're going to peel and stick it right there going to be flush. Okay, now after I peel it, I'm going to stick it right there, nice and flush. I'll bring the hose around and attach it up front and attach the other one right there. Got these little clips. So once you bring it around, then you'll do hose trap. Okay, now I put the both clips in. I just want to point this out. Sometimes you'll see a little hair in the hose. Don't worry about that. It's going to go away. But when we prime them, we always test them first. So now I've got the hose on all the way over, and you can see I've got very little slack. So now I'm going to, by hand, slide the cartridge assembly all the way over to the left. In case I have to give out a little hose. I want it to just be taut, but not so taut that it stops it from going all the way over. Okay, so I'm going to go all the way back. It's all the way up. That's hose travel. And you'll be able to shut the lid. You can tuck the hose in. It's not going to hurt anything. And you'll be able to shut the lid. Okay, now next step.
Because this is our Executive Series 2, the isobaric chamber, the backflow dampers. We've added new poppet valves to the cartridges so they can't leak. A larger microscreen, the best and the newest combo chip available. If you have a problem with your Epson firmware, this little chip will take care of it. Okay, so now the first thing we're going to do, we're going to balance it. I haven't opened up any of the plugs, so we're going to take it and we're going to rock it. This is very important. We're going to rock it back and forth slowly. It's going to balance the two chambers. Now we can open it up. We're going to open up the air holes here, each one. Now you want to have a paper towel handy, because sometimes there's a little ink residue. So when you get in there, just open them up. You don't have to plug them anywhere, just open them. Take your time. And we'll be able to close the front lid. Now this system protects against dust and excessive light. Because the newer inks today, if you have too much light hitting them, it will change in quality. There you go. Now we can close it up. That seals it. You can always look up front, watch your ink levels fall, and then add ink, which is really simple. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do is plug the printer in and turn it on. Turn it on. As you do a cleaning, all that air is going to be moved up. But now with these backflow dampers, if you take the cartridge out, the ink can't flow backwards like a lot of the cheaper CIS systems. They're, they're constantly fighting the air and ink balance. You'll be able to close the lid and close it right down. Put the hose up there, you can close it. Not going to hurt anything. Okay. I'm going to open it for a minute to show you. I've got no lights, so that's good. That means i got the cartridges in. If you get lights that light up, you did not snap these cartridges in tight enough. Okay, now I'm going to shut it off for a second, because then we're going to run a nozzle check. Okay. Now what i got to do is I've got to hold the resume button and the on button. So I'm going to hold down the resume button and then I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to hold both of them for a second. Let the on button go. Hold the resume button for a minute, a little bit longer, and then let go. Then you should be able to print out a nozzle check. Now sometimes when you first put it in, to go into a charging. That's a good one. Okay, the nozzle check came out and everything looks really good. It's hard to see them because it looks light, but it looks good here. So that's how easy it was to set up the Artisan 1430 Executive 2 Continuous Sync System.